right, I am going to just quickly go over the instructions for essay three, and I'm going to show you a few sample essays in this video. So, your guidelines for this essay, it will be a process analysis, and I gave you those notes in that video during week two of the session, so you may want to go back and review that before you actually start writing your paper. Um, for this essay, you may choose any topic within reason. Now, I do ask you to um, get topic approval if you choose something different than my suggestions, but the field is really wide open. Same MLA formatting rules as before, no title page or outline needed, um, just that information in the top left hand corner. This essay will be 500 to 750 words in length, so a little longer than your previous essay, which I'm sure you'll appreciate. And this one is also worth more points, 75 points. Um, so with each consecutive essay, we go up in point value. Um, so just be aware of that as far as the time you invest in it. A reminder, you cannot do research. So as far as your topic choice, be careful to choose something that is common knowledge. And in this essay, I am allowing you to use second person. And process analysis is unique in that you are directly addressing your audience using this rhetorical strategy because you're giving instructions. But this is the only essay throughout the whole semester that I will um, approve the use of second person. So just be aware of that. And if you do choose a topic that's different than the ideas I have listed, just shoot me an email. Just say, hey, I'd like to do this topic. And um, that's absolutely no problem at all. And I can give you some feedback. Um, and I do that not just because I'm trying to make your life harder or be mean, but I know what works. I've graded process analysis essays and read hundreds of them. So I know what works and what doesn't. And finally, keep in mind that for this essay and the rest of the essays in this class, you will be submitting your final draft on the due date. You don't get my comments and a revision. That was only with that um, initial essay. So just proofread very carefully, especially with your grammar. So one reminder that your topic must be a process, all right? In order to get those content points, it has to have those steps that must occur in a certain order. And sometimes students are tempted to just give me advice like, here are some tips on how to get an A. Well, that's not really a process. That's not something that um, follows this idea of these steps have to happen in a certain order for the process to occur. So just keep that in mind and feel free to ask me if you have questions. Um, I'm always happy to look at a rough draft um, if you get a few paragraphs in and you just want to know if you're on the right track and get some feedback. I'm, I'm happy to look at that if you want to email it to me. So some topic ideas, how to perform a skill in sports, how to hit a baseball, kick a soccer ball, shoot a free throw, etc. And that might sound like, wow, that's, that would be really easy. Could I really write a whole paper on that? You would be surprised at how difficult it is to give verbal instructions, written instructions for those types of things. Um, different aspects of meaning a car, um, how to buy a car, a house, select a roommate, how to do laundry, how to plant a garden, how to build or repair a household item, how to apply makeup or style hair, how to plan an event. Um, the planning a wedding is a little bit of a stretch to make that fit in 750 words. So a lot of times if I have a girl or a guy who's interested in that, I'm, you may just choose one aspect, like how to plan your reception or how to choose your dress or something like that because it is really difficult to get how to plan your wedding within 750 words or how to start some kind of hobby. And that is, in fact, the very first um, sample essay we're going to look at. This girl wrote her essay on how to learn how to figure skate. And so that was her hobby. She liked figure skating. So I'm not going to read the whole essay. If you want to pause the video and read it, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to point out a couple things. I will read the introduction. Have you ever watched Olympic figure skaters gracefully glide across the ice and wish that that could be you? Have you always imagined yourself in one of their beautiful glittering costumes? And so she goes on and on about, you know, just how wonderful it is to figure skate. And that's a good introduction. You want to draw your reader in, make the process sound appealing, show that the process is valuable. And then um, for the thesis statement, although it may be a frightening prospect, there are only three steps to achieving the mastery you desire. And many of your thesis statements will look very similar, all right? You are basically saying, you know, there are five easy steps to baking the perfect chocolate chip cookies or learning how to shoot 
um, the perfect three th the perfect free throw is easy by just following these steps. So you'll all have a very similar thesis statement. Um, it's just suiting it to your topic. And then as far as your topic sentences, this is a good example. The first step is buying the equipment. And then she goes into detail about why it's important to have the right kind of skates, where you can buy the skates. Um, and I just really want you, like I said, you can pause this video, read it. This is a good example of the kind of details you want to include um, as far as and how a unified paragraph. The whole paragraph is about buying the equipment and all of the supporting details. Um, this is a good example of a transition. Now that you have the equipment, the next thing to do is book your lessons. All right, so after you have the equipment, you book your lessons, and then she tells about all the different ways that you could, um, you know, you can get group lessons or individual lessons. These are more expensive, you know, but these are more effective, so on and so forth. Um, the only thing that can improve that, improve this paragraph, would be even to include details about, like, well, where do I find, how do I find the venue? You know, a quick internet search will show, you know, the available venues in your area. So it could be used a few more details, but overall, this is a really good example. Okay, so I'm just showing you the one page. I'm not going to show you the whole essay. So as I scroll down, we're actually moving to a completely different essay. All right, and you can see um, by all the comments on this essay that this is a negative example. And when I show you guys sample essays, it's typically what I do. I'll show you a good example, and I'll show you a bad example of you know how things can go wrong. So let me read this one a little bit. I'm actually going to, I'll read the intro here. This is my process of how I am preparing for spring break. First thing I have been doing is the preliminary stage of thought where I have figured just how much time we have and most of the activities me and my girlfriend will be doing and where, will we, be, where we will be traveling. Both of us have figured out what it is we wish to do and how much time it is going to take up and we know where we'll be staying for that time. And lastly, we have our exit plan, meaning we know what time we are going to leave to come back, and we know how much time that is projected for just relaxation time. All right, other than the stylistic issue of all the awkward sentences, this is a poor introduction um, for the simple reason of the thesis statement is the wrong place, and it's an awkward thesis statement. This is my process of how I am preparing. Well, that's not even instructions. You need to speak to your audience. Um, there are three easy steps to prepare for spring break or to plan your spring break vacation. And then all he does in his introduction is list out his main points. Do you guys see how boring and repetitive that is? Like he's just going to say those things over again. So don't preview your main points. Keep it more general. Why is it important to prepare for spring break? Why is it important to, um, you know, have a plan for your vacation? Okay, so then he says... All right, let's look at the next paragraph. If you want a structured spring break, then you can use a timeline whilst you are in the preliminary thoughts of your preparation for spring break. First, you need to figure out when to leave for spring break. But for NGU, it will be after classes, of course. But your departure time is imperative. Next, find a route to your destination. That is the quickest, so you do not have to do any unnecessary driving. This is to maximize your time having fun, not needless driving. Lastly, once you have arrived at your destination, take a moment, relax, and begin the second phase of your planning. All right, so this is, it's not like the worst thing in the world, but can you guys see the very obvious step that he has skipped? If you are going to take a spring break vacation, what is the very first thing you have to do? You have to decide where you're going. You can't, you can't um, figure out how long it's going to take you to get to your destination until you have a destination. So you can't skip steps, even if it may seem obvious. I want you to include every single step of the process, okay? And finally, he doesn't tell you how to do that. How do you find a route to your destination that is the quickest? Like, you're supposed to tell me how to do that. Should I use Google Maps? Should I use MapQuest? Should I ask people? What do I do? And then um, this last paragraph, you can read this one, and it's just, again, an example of how it's just very vague, all right? Um, I can, I, you can see my little note here where he says, prepare for everything, have a secondary plan. Well, how do I do that? How do I, how do I um, figure out what we want to do for the main body of time? Um, you know, you need to be more specific. 
So the main weakness in this essay, which is just completely vague, it's missing steps, um, and clearly has not been proofread very well. So hopefully looking at these sample essays, um, again, you can go back in the video and um, pause and read and spend a little more time looking over them. Um, but hopefully these give you, a, give you an idea of what works and what doesn't as you start in on essay three. Um, and the stakes are higher for this essay, so for sure um, let me know if you have any questions or if you would like me to um, look at a rough draft of yours.